Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. As you can see today in front of me, I have a DSLR camera. So a digital SLR camera. This is an older model. This is the Sony A330. Now, this video is a little bit different to my other ones because it's more of a rant than anything else. So bear with me. Um, basically, as you can see, this is a uh, nice looking camera. It's a full body DSLR. It's a few years old, but it has the articulating sort of uh, screen there on the back, you know, it all looks pretty good. But anyway, long story short, here's what happened. I always tool around online and, uh, you know, try to look for deals. And I always look at Gumtree. Those of you in America, uh, Craigslist would be a similar website, but in Australia, we call it Gumtree. Uh, it's owned by eBay. It's a pretty slick interface and it's pretty good. I've found some really, really good deals on it. Um, I also use Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is fantastic to get rid of old stuff that you don't want anymore or to find new treasures. Anyway, so I was, uh, you know, tooling around on Facebook Marketplace looking for uh, cameras. Um, I think that, uh, you know, especially DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and stuff, they're wicked expensive. So if I can get a decent one used, I don't have a problem with that. Anyway, this guy was up on Facebook Marketplace for a whopping 60 Australian dollars. That's six zero, which is an insanely cheap price. Now, I had a couple reservations with it because the description in the video, in the uh, ad rather, said that it didn't come with a battery and that there was no charger. And, you know, basically what I have right here in front of me, what you can see here is what was being sold. So I messaged the guy, I said, hey, is it still available? He said, yes. Um, I said, so what's the deal? Uh, does it work? He says, as far as my now, as far as I know, it works, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I go, all right, I had a look on uh, Amazon and saw that I could get a battery for this guy for relatively cheap. Um, I ended up picking one up for about 15 bucks. So I decided to roll the dice. You know, I was a bit skeptical because, you know, $60, super cheap for a DSLR. Now, I'll full disclosure here, I was planning on just flipping this. So buying it for 60 bucks and then turning around and trying to sell it for 150 or whatever after I replaced the battery and got a charger and all that sort of thing, make a little bit of money on the side. Um, now, I went to go pick it up. I said to the guy, hey, listen, would you take 50? Because, you know, obviously I can't test it, etc., etc." He said, okay. So he gave me the camera and I ordered the battery. Uh, the battery came probably in about a week, maybe a little bit more. Uh, popped it in and started snapping photos. But one of the things that I noticed was, uh, you know, every time I snapped a photo on the particular screen here, all the photos were tinted a purplish pink color. Now, this, uh, I was hoping, was just the LCD screen itself, something faulty in here. So I had a look online, I was poking around, I did some Googling, and basically what people were saying was, yeah, one of two options. Neither one are particularly great, but one was significantly worse than the other. The first one, which uh, is a pain, would be that the LCD screen, there was something wrong with it. Um, I had a look online, uh, on YouTube rather, and uh, you know you could definitely replace the screen, but I figured, you know what, I'll just sell it for a little bit less. I can't be bothered, you know, this isn't, I'm not going to sit here and take apart this entire assembly if that's the case. The other uh, suggestion of what it may be was that the actual sensor of the camera, so if you look in here, you know, you got the mirrors and stuff in there, but basically there's a sensor in there that captures all the photos. He said the sensor was going. So I said, well, if the sensor's going, you can, again, get that replaced, but there's no point on a $60, you know, camera that's pushing almost a decade old. So, um, you know, I was kind of out of luck. So what I decided to do was to snap a bunch of photos and put it on a card. Now, as you can see, this camera is so old that it uses the uh, micro or the, uh, what do they call them? Memory Stick Pro Duo. This was the proprietary sort of Sony memory card thing that they used in PSPs and whatnot. Um, it also takes a regular SD, but I just had one of these lying around from my old PSP, so decided to use that. 
I said, I'll take a few photos. Obviously, all of them on the LCD look like they're totally washed out in pink or purple or whatever. And, you know, I got to just essentially take the card out, plug it into my computer and see what the images look like. If they are purple and pink on my computer, then I know it's a sensor issue and not a screen issue. So uh, long story short, well, actually, let's do it this way. I'll put up sample photographs right now so that you can see what I came up with. So as you can see, or you could probably guess, uh, you know, since I said that this was a rant beforehand, uh, all of the photos are the, that pinkish purple hue, which basically means that this camera is donezo. Uh, it is no good. Uh, there's nothing I can do with it. Basically, uh, the only thing I could really do with it is maybe salvage the lens, which I plan on doing, by the way. Um, but as far as this body here, I mean, I could try to, I guess, sell it to somebody who might want to screw around with it, but I don't know anybody who would want to waste their time trying to fix this guy. It's just not worth it. So basically, long story short, I kind of got scammed. Uh, I don't know for sure whether the seller of this particular camera knew exactly the problems with it, but I have a feeling they did because they said, hey, I don't have a battery. I'm like, who doesn't keep the battery in the camera? I mean, I, even if you have multiple batteries, wouldn't you keep one in there? I don't know. But yeah, I don't have a, you know, I just don't believe him, basically, is what I'm saying. So he kind of screwed me out of 50 bucks. Uh, again, only 50 bucks. I knew going into it that it may be too good to be true, and uh, that was what was proven. So um, I guess I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself, but uh, hopefully this video helps you to identify potential... Uh, scams, I guess, on uh, Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, basically, one of the ways that you could always test DSLRs is, uh, hopefully, it works. If it doesn't, uh, you know, if it doesn't have a battery or it's not charged or whatever, be very uh, skeptical of buying it, or at least I would never do it again. So, but you guys can make your own decisions. But basically, one of the ways that you can test a sensor um, is fire up the camera, turn it on and then point the camera straight up into the sky and snap a photo and see what it looks like. If it looks like the color reproduction's all there, you don't see any dead pixels or anything like that, then it's probably okay. Um, but that is just a quick and dirty way of testing the sensor itself. Uh, anyway, hopefully this video has been somewhat useful to you. I realize this isn't really a review. It's something a little bit different. Um, I don't plan on doing many more of these videos because hopefully I don't get scammed in the future. But anyway, uh, I hope you learned something at least, uh, even if it was a just a cautionary tale of buying used tech. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I put out new videos every single week usually on Sundays. Anyway, uh, this is going to do it. This is Gizmo Joe signing off. Catch you next time.